Hello, this is GM Time Lost, and I'm going to be showing you how to use Wild Model Viewer today. You can use this to find uh, display IDs for your custom items and stuff. There are a lot of items in game, and there's a lot of hidden IDs that you can use, and this is a good way to find them out. The first thing you need to do is load a character model. I've already loaded the Drain Eye. Just like in the character customization window, when you first create your character, you can choose your skin color and all the other different customiz customization options. Over here on the side you'll see your equipment window. I'm just going to start with the head for now. And you'll get a bunch of different items here. Miscellaneous is just a bunch of NPC items. Some of them are cool, some of them aren't. And this quest option is usually pretty useless. For demonstration purposes I'm just going to choose plate as there are a lot of items to go through. Um, here you'll notice it'll give you a list of just about every plate head item in the game, and you can scroll through them. You can also move this character model around. You can left click and pan it down, um, scroll with the mouse to zoom in or zoom out, and right click to rotate the camera. You'll notice here that all of these have names, and you'll also see numbers next to them, but we'll get to that later. Um, there are also, as I was saying, there's also hidden IDs, as you'll see right here. Unknown NPC items. These are usually very unique skins. Some of them are recolors of regular items. Some of them are unique in and of themselves. As you can tell, some of them are unique, some of them are recolors, just like what happened there. Let's just go with this for now. As you'll notice, as I said, there are two numbers next to this. The first one is a display ID. The second one is some sort of identifier, though I'm not too horribly sure what it is. But yeah, after you choose your item, just hit OK, and you can move on to the next one. And rinse and repeat. A pretty cool feature of uh, Wild Model Viewer is you can actually save your equipment sets, which is what I have here. Go to Character, Load Equipment, and we'll go with this right here. The pre-made set that I worked on the other day. What's, that's, what that's useful for is, say, uh, I put on a drain eye right now, but say you want to see what it looks like on a blood elf. We'll choose blood elf male. And it'll load the default blood elf male model. Now I can go to load equipment again, choose my set, and I'll put it on that model. Let's see, we'll have to hide the ears and hide the hair for it to look correct. Alright, now that you got your set picked out, you got to make sure that the items that you chose have valid display IDs. And as you'll see over here, as I explained before, we have a display ID, which is the first number in brackets. What you need to do is you need to go to your local, or go to your browser, which I conveniently have open, and go to www.wow-v.com. This is where our custom item crafters make their custom items. Then go to create. Now if you're, well, well my viewer crashed on me. Anyways, if you're making a weapon, click on weapon. If you're making armor, click on armor. <laughs> and you'll see the creation window here. Just type in test. And you can type in the display ID, which is number in brackets right here. You type in the display ID here 
and I'll just use my shoulders, which I know the display ID is 46096. Choose shoulders as they are shoulders, and scroll down and click submit. What we're looking for is this icon here. If it has an icon, then it'll be a valid uh, display ID. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to type in some random numbers and see if I can get an invalid display ID, which I can't. Let's try this. Ah, here we go. If you see this no icon thing here, it means that your item doesn't have a valid display ID and thus can't be used on a custom item. One of the cool features of WoWV is the display ID finder tool. You can either do it by entry ID, which is the item number, or the item name. I'm going to type in Coral Barbed, which is the first part of the shoulder items that I chose, and hit submit. It will come up with this here. And again, it'll show you the display ID, which is 46096. Um, if you're using Internet Explorer, I think, you can just click this, and it'll automatically put the display ID and the display ID f field. But since I'm not, I gotta put it in manually. Well, that's all for how to use WoW Model Viewer. If you have any questions, feel free to post. Again, this is DM Time Lost, signing off.